Keith Griffith here with Female Factor Fitness. And this week I've had a lot of requests for an upper arm, upper body workout that you can do at home. So before we begin, I wanna talk about the Vicky G method and exactly what that is. So I created my method around the different body types that women have. Men have these too, but I work specifically with women, so we're gonna focus on women's bodies. So first type, the gonad type, that's typically the type that gains weight, if they're gonna gain weight, in their lower body first, and they stay relatively lean in their upper body in their midsection. That looks like you're pear-shaped. If you are thyroid type, you gain most of your weight in your midsection, and you stay pretty lean in your arms and your legs. That's typically the, the apple. And if you're adrenal type, like yours truly, if you gain weight, you're gonna gain weight all over, and you can put on muscle easier than the other body types. Yes, I did say that. So there are also a lot of crossovers. There is the hourglass shape, which would be a combination of thyroid, gonad, and adrenal. But I'm gonna talk about that in future videos, a little bit more about the BKG method. So let's go ahead and get started with this particular upper body workout. And this is great for whatever type you are because we're keeping it in the endurance phase, which means high reps, and light weight. So grab a pair of dumbbells between three pounds and five pounds. If you were an adrenal type, I would stick with three pounds and not go any heavier than that. Again, you put on muscle easier. So then a playground ball or a kid's ball is great uh, to have around for the different exercises, but if you don't have it, you can do it without. So let's go ahead and get started. Grab your weights, I'm using three pounds today. And you can come into a squat position because hey, don't we want to work our lower body while we're working the upper body? We're women. So let's lower down, and you can be in a regular squat, a sumo squat, or plie squat is what I'm choosing, which is the widest squat. In any case, just make sure your knees are tracking alignment with your toes. So let's find that neutral, natural arch in the back, pull the belly towards the spine, lift the chest, and engage those glutes. You can go lower if you need to in this squat position. So we're gonna focus on that upper body, focusing on the biceps here. So that's what we're working all the way up to the shoulders, all the way down. Keeping the rep range high, between 15 and 20. So let's go ahead and do 10 more, and let's add a bend in the knee. Nine, go eight, go seven, press through the heels, keep the chest lifted, six, and five, go four, go three, Go two, last one, bringing it back down, holding that squat position, bringing the dumbbells around and into hammer curls. So here, go as low as you want, feel you can go in that plie position, and engage those glutes. Let's do about 10 more sets here. Go 10, go nine, go eight, seven, six, all the way up, all the way down, five, go four, go three, Go to, and last set. So let's go ahead and grab our ball and place it right in between those inner thighs. We get inner thighs here, that's your bonus. Let's do a few of my favorite little mini deadlifts here. So knees are soft, take your glutes to the back wall. Get a little glute, a little hamstring before we work that upper body again. Again, feet are parallel, squeeze that ball and pull the belly towards the spine as you hinge up, so you're hinging from the hips. Let's go about six more, you can always do more reps here. Go five, just showing form. Go four, go three, necks are long. Two, last one. Once you hinge back over here, neck is long, and let's get that upper back area, I like to call it the backless top dress tank top area. And here, pretend you have an imaginary pencil behind your shoulder blades, slightly bend those elbows and squeeze at the top. Let's go 10 more. 10, nine, put your weight in your heels. Eight, go seven, go six, go five, go four, three, two, and last one. Hinge out of that position, place the ball on the ground. I like to always constantly change position so we're not always in that bent over hinge position. Pull the belly towards the spine, bend that knee. So we're in a nice lunge here, we're in the lower body again, surprise, surprise, and we're gonna close it open. Your arms are in goal post, 
here squeezing those pecs. I like to call this one the strapless top dress area exercise. Let's go 10 more and add lunge. 10, nine, dropping straight down to that lunge. Eight, go seven, go six, shoulders away from your ears. Five, go four, three, two, last one. I want you to hold that lunge position and then go overhead press. Nine, light grip on that dumbbells. Eight, seven, go six, five more, four, three, two, last one. Then bring it over, let's finish off with the back of the arms. Dumbbells start at the hip, we extend in bend, 14, go 13, straighten that right leg, 12, 11, abs engage, 10 more, go nine, go eight, seven, six, five, go four, three, two, and one. Keep those necks long, drop the weight if you need to. Lift, 15 here, 14, 13, palms to the sky, 12, 11, go 10, nine, eight, seven, bring that chest through, six, shoulders away from your ears for five more, four, three, two, one. Bring it up top. Make sure you do the other side. If you don't want to go overhead, you can work the bicep curl for that move. And also, remember, you can do these and this one, the presses towards the sky, without weight. So you will be ready for that upper body, for your dresses, your swimsuits, anything you're wearing up top. Go sleeveless. And I'll see you next time.